Hey everyone, and welcome to episode two of Minute Rounds. I'm your host, Dr. Dave, and today we're gonna to be talking about another vaccine. It's the new vaccine against shingles called Shingrix. And today I'm gonna to give you four reasons why I think this vaccine is a better one than the older vaccine called Zostavax. Let's do that right now. So why are we even talking about a shingles vaccine? Well, this is what I tell my patients. Shingles is fairly common. About one in three people end up getting shingles, and it is notoriously difficult to treat. It can be very painful, and we just honestly don't have great medications to help treat it. There's also something called post-herpetic neuralgia, which is the most feared complication of shingles. Some people, after the shingles rash resolves, they will persist in having pain in that area. And again, that pain is really difficult to treat and it can be very severe and it can last from weeks to months or even years afterwards. The shingles vaccine not only helps prevent you from getting shingles in the first place, but is also good at preventing post neuralgia. So let's get into the four differences between the new shingles vaccine and the older one. First of all, the new Shingrix vaccine is an adjuvant inactivated vaccine, whereas the older Zostavax is a live attenuated vaccine. These are a bunch of big words, I get it. Why do they even matter? Well, it's because the old shingles vaccine, the Zostavax, is a live attenuated vaccine, which means that it limits the number of people we can give it to. If you have any condition that suppresses your immune system, either a medical condition or medications that you're taking or something like chemotherapy, we cannot give you that vaccine. It's these folks who seem to be at higher risk of shingles and higher risk of complication from shingles. So that is one advantage to the new Shingrix vaccine. It is not a live attenuated vaccine, so that opens us up to be able to give this vaccine to that population of people. Number two, Shingrix is offered to people over 50 years old and is given in two shots, whereas the older Zostavax is given in people over 60 years old and is just one shot. This one is really self-explanatory. We can give the Shingles vaccine about 10 years earlier, but it also requires two shots instead of one. Next up, the new Shingrix vaccine is significantly more effective. Okay, I think this is the biggest difference between these two vaccines. The older Zostavax vaccine had an effectiveness at best to prevent shingles of about 65%. So if you got it between the ages of 60 and 69, the effectiveness was about 65%. However, if you didn't get that vaccine until you were say 80 years old, that effectiveness drops to less than 20%. That's not great. The new shingles vaccine, Shingrix, is consistently more effective. It carries an effectiveness greater than 90% at any age. So if you get it at age 50, the effectiveness is around 95%. But if you wait till you're 80, the effectiveness is still around 91%, and that's a big difference. Lastly, side effects are much more common with the new Shingrix vaccine. The older Zostavax vaccine typically would give a little bit of soreness at the injection site maybe some headache, but honestly, the symptoms were not that severe. The new shingles vaccine consistently has more severe side effects. It's typically headaches, lots of muscle aches, even some low-grade fevers, and these can last a day or two, and in some cases, it's severe enough for people to take a day off of work. But hold on a second, I actually think that's a good thing. What are you talking about, Dr. Dave? I don't want any side effects. Okay, yeah, I know, I get it, but listen, the vaccines that tend to cause these side effects also tend to be more effective because what happens is those symptoms, the headaches, the muscle aches, even low-grade fevers, that is representative of your immune system kicking in and making those antibodies, which is why you get the vaccine in the first place. So be warned, the new shingles vaccine does cause more side effects, but also be reassured that that just means that your immune system is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. If you are over 50 years old, I would encourage you to speak to your physician about whether or not you would be a good candidate for the Shingrix vaccine. Thank you again for joining me. Again, I'm your host, Dr. Dave. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe so that you don't miss out when new videos are released. And remember, preventing shingles is great, but kindness to your neighbors, that's even better. Y'all take care.